In today's show, we're going to talk to you about Pioneer's new NEX radios and Android Auto compatibility, so stay tuned. So you just bought yourself the new NEX model, and one of the things that's cool about it this year and last year is that it is Android Auto compatible, if okay. you have the 7-inch screen. So that limits you to three models. That is a 4200, a 7200, and an 8200. If you have a 52 or a 62, Android Auto will not work. Unfortunately, you have to have a 7-inch screen, at least a 7-inch screen, or 6.95-inch screen, in order for Android Auto to function properly. It just has to do with the scaling of their uh, application. 7 inches is better. It's just what it is, people. Sorry. Um, okay, so how does it work? Good question. You will need an Android phone that is compatible with Android Auto. Most of the phones that are available now are, so you're golden. Um, you'll need the USB cable, and that's it. You pair, the US, uh, you pair your Bluetooth to the radio, you plug in the USB, boom. USB 2. USB 2. That is important. USB 1 is reserved for iPhone, USB 2 is reserved for Android Auto. It will auto select now. That's a new feature. So you don't have to go into the smartphone settings and tell it, I'm putting in an Android phone. If you've had a previous version of this radio, you had to do that. You don't have to do that anymore. It knows if you plug an Android phone into USB 2, you want to do Android Auto. The nice thing is, is if you decide to change your mind, or you have that friend, or you have that spouse, or whoever does that has an iPhone, you can plug in the iPhone to one when the Android Auto phone is not plugged in, and you can do CarPlay. So you can hop swap between the two. You can only have one at a time, though. Yes. Okay, so let's get to the Android Auto demo, shall we? Now, like I had said, you have to pair the Bluetooth. So make sure that's done before you actually get to this point. If it's not, do it. Um. And if you don't know how to pair your Bluetooth phone, check out our video on <laughs> pair Bluetooth phone pairing. <laughs> All right, let's get to the demo. So this is the basic layout for Android Auto. These are called tiles, and as you do things with, the, with Android Auto, you get more and more tiles that you can scroll up through. Over here is the microphone. This is how you talk to Android Auto to get her to do stuff for you. This is your phone's battery, the time. Over here you have your navigation your phone, your return to home page, which is this, your music, and then you return to the Pioneer source. So for example, we'll go backwards, return to Pioneer. Yes. Now I'll hit the home button, and you'll notice on the home button it says Android Auto. Go ahead and touch that. Now let's go ahead and we'll look at the maps. So this is going to launch Google Maps. So you have your Google Maps, come over here. Recent places, categories, and traffic. You want to go somewhere, just tap this guy here. Take me to a Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Five Guys Burgers and Fries, all right. So she's going to go ahead and tell me where it's at. Okay, mute voice guidance, destination info, show routes, search along route, so if I need to find something on my way. Next is phone. So this will pull up your contacts. We only got one in the phone. You come over here. You can do a voice, voicemail, dial a number. call history, missed calls. So you have access to all the phone activity that you're used to. You can also, if you're in the main menu, as you notice we've added a tile. We just come over here and we hit this. Call Fernando. Calling Fernando Lopez Mobile. So we're going to go ahead and end the call. Get out of here. Scroll that down, hit the home button, now we'll come over to music. This is where your Google Play is going to be. Radio Recent Activity Playlist. Uh, this will do Pandora, it will do Spotify. 
if you go to the Google uh, Google Android Auto page, it'll go ahead and show you a list. There's like 50 compatible audio apps with it right now. Get to my fucking... There we go. Pandora. So you get the idea. So here will be your list, and you can tap through it, of all the radio stations that are on your phone that you normally use. Uh, there is several that, choose, that you can download and choose from. Your favorite app might be available. If it's downloaded on your phone and it shows up here, then you'll have full control of it. Tap here and you can go back. Tap here you can go home. Uh, if you're playing a song, it'll go ahead and show up in your bar down here. You can also do something like this. Play Pandora. Okay, asking to play music. So I've added another page. Now if we get a text message, if we get a text message that'll go ahead and appear on here as well. You can also make text messages from here just by saying send Fernando a text message. Text Fernando Lopez. Sure. What's the message? Booga booga booga. Here's your text to Fernando Lopez. Booga, booga, booga. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Sending message. All right. And then, of course, you can ask her general questions like, when did the Tampa Bay Lightning play next? Tampa Bay Lightning will face New York Islanders tomorrow at 7 p.m. Yes. Now, one thing to consider, like we're showing it to you now on the 7200, it's available on the 7200 and the 8200, they both have navigation systems yes. built into them, the 4200 does not. Why would you want something that has a navigation when you have access to Google Maps? Well, the simple reasoning behind it is, if you're trying to go somewhere over a long distance, let's say for example we're here in Florida, and you want to go up to let's say Tennessee, Okay. okay you need to get there and you're driving. Well, do you really want to have your phone plugged in and doing GPS from Florida to Tennessee? It's going to toast. It's going to toast the phone. Yep. Okay. So that's where the navigation, onboard navigation system comes in handy. Now, that's an extreme situation. You might just have a three-hour trip or a two-hour trip that you're trying to do. Either way, chances are good you don't want to have your phone plugged in that whole time. Now, when do you use Android Auto? When you get to where you're going you might not be familiar with the surrounding area. And that's where Android Auto comes in and does amazing things. For example, when we said find five guys. There you go. She'll find all these cool things and all the cool places for you. So, how do you use the two? Use the onboard navigation system to get you where you need to go. And then once you're in that city, use Android Auto to find a location for the smaller yeah. things yep. in life. So that's how you use the two in conjunction. Now that's not to say that, hey, some of you guys out there are like, whatever, I'm getting a 4200. It'll just go, baby. I'll set that sucker on fire on my dash. I don't care. <laughs> it, hey, more power to you. I mean, it is 300 bucks, so, you know, I understand, totally. Yeah, go from a 42 to a 72, it's about 300 bucks. Yeah, I know. Really? So, there's arguments to be made for either way. You decide. Doesn't matter to me. We just want to let you know about that information. That's what we do. End the show, please. I want to stop talking. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And if you like this show, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a great night and we'll see you next time. Bye.